I mean, I, I use Twitter, Facebook, and uh, and blogs in different ways. I mean, for example, um, Twitter is a brilliant way to drive, be part of the news agenda. So we try and do stories which fit in with what we think the news is going to be about and what people want to discuss. Um, stories have to be uh, much more descriptive in their title. You know, they have to. Um, be much more grabbing. I mean, you know, I, I don't do the New York Times style, which is like, you know, write a vague headline and it could be, could be by anything, you know. Um, I think Twitter forces uh, a publisher to be much more specific with the headline, uh, grab attention, and, and do it in a way that people want to click on the headline. So that, that's the way I do it, what works best for Twitter. Facebook, we don't do that many updates on Facebook per day. I mean, with Twitter, because it's a stream, we can keep on updating and you can say, you know, we're publishing a story from earlier today, we're just releasing the story. And I've done that a few times. Whereas on Facebook, because it comes up on people's feeds and you can't have more than two or three in a feed, it's useful for us to try and focus on stories which are going to grab the most attention. You know, some, some funny videos that get shared a lot or um, interesting grabbing stories which people are much more likely to like or people are much more likely to comment on. And because of that, then it has an impact because other people then end up reading the story or going to the website as well. So I think that you've got to really think about how do you... I think Twitter and Facebook are the two main platforms that we use other than blogging to try and get the message out there. So yeah, and I, I use them in different ways.